Hi, Grade 3! Welcome to my class. I am Teacher Maricar of Angeles Elementary School, your math teacher. This time, we will learn a lesson in mathematics. Today, you will learn how to compare values of different denominations of coins and bills through 1,000 pesos using relation symbols. Last time, we discussed about reading and writing amount of money. Let's have a review. Let's try to read the amount of money shown on the screen. 265 pesos 346 pesos 188 pesos 405 pesos 399 pesos 500 pesos This time, let's try to read the amount of money in words 107 pesos 241 pesos 313 pesos and 32 centavos 286 pesos and 55 centavos 406 pesos and 60 centavos Let's start our lesson with this problem Your mom needs to go to the supermarket there are two ways of going to this place. One is riding a jeepney and the other one is riding a tricycle. How much fare was paid for the jeepney and the tricycle? The fare for the jeepney is 8 pesos. The fare for the tricycle is 25 pesos. Which fare is more? Very good, it's the tricycle. Which fare is less? Very good, it's the jeepney. How would you compare the fares? In comparing values of different denominations, we need to study the amounts of money. If the first digit of the two amounts is the same, compare the second digit or the next digits. The number with a greater digit has the greater value. The more digits the money value has, the greater its value. Let's try to perform this activity. Let's try to count the amount of money in each set. Which set has greater amount? Very good, it's a set A. How about on this sets? Set A has 25 pesos. On set B, we have 50 pesos. Which set is greater? Very good, it's set B. How about on this set? On set A, we have 200 pesos. On set B, we have 220 pesos. Which set is greater? Very good, it's set B. How about on this sets? On set A, we have 600 pesos. On set B, we have 500 pesos. Which set is greater? Very good, it's set A. Let's try another one. On set A, we have 700 pesos. On set B, we have 650 pesos. Which set is greater? Set A. Let's try another one. On set A, we have 900 pesos. On set B, we have 1,000 pesos. Which set is greater? 
its set B. In comparing amount of money, we use the following symbol. We have greater than, less than, and equal to. For example, if we compare 200 pesos to 300 pesos, 200 pesos is lesser than 300 pesos. If we compare 325 pesos and 275 pesos, 325 pesos is greater than 275 pesos. If we compare 1,000 to 1,000, 1,000 is equal to 1,000. This time, let us try to compare the amount of money by writing the symbol less than, greater than, or equal to. 10 pesos and 50 centavos compared to 110 pesos and 75 centavos. The symbol we use is less than. Let us try to compare 50 pesos and 50 centavos to 50 pesos and 75 centavos. What symbol are we going to use? It's less than. How about if we compare 98 pesos to 68 pesos and 25 centavos? It's greater than. How about 126 pesos and 25 centavos compared to 89 pesos and 90 centavos? It's also greater than. That's all for today. I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. 